I have many, many cousins. But of all my cousins, there's this one that I bonded with for quite some time. I, I guess we became close because we had something in common. You see, my mom and his father were siblings. And both my mom and his father died very young. My mom died at the age of 50, and his dad died in his 40s. And you know, for a while, I stayed in his house, and I became like a brother to him. And you know, even up to now, we're still very close. Cousins can be closer than siblings. Since cousins are related by blood, there's this great potential for affinity. And, and yet, they're not too close that they get trapped into the petty tension of everyday life that, you know, siblings tend to get into. There's this unusual story of two cousins who felt this affinity between them even before they were born. They were John, the son-to-be of Elizabeth, and Jesus, the son-to-be of Mary. Elizabeth and Mary were still infanticipating when this unusual meeting took place. We find this in the Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah, and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Unspoken here is the revelation of the Holy Spirit. The angels have revealed the deeper meaning and implication of the coming of the baby in Mary's womb. And I'm sure Mary had shared this with Elizabeth. But John, who was still in the womb of Elizabeth, had no way of knowing all these things. But it was as if baby John already knew that the baby in Mary's womb was to be the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies about the coming of the all-wise, all-powerful King of Israel, who was to bring justice, righteousness, peace, and salvation to the land of Israel. John, while still inside Elizabeth's womb, got excited at the very presence of the baby in Mary's womb. The baby John leaped in the womb. And the baby was to be John, was excited for the coming of the Messiah. Later in his adult years, John would call himself the one who prepared the way for the coming of the Lord. He would also be the one to baptize Jesus, who was then about to begin his own ministry. It was John who was willing to be the lesser, so that his cousin, Jesus, would be the greater. As we reflect on the true meaning of the coming of the King of Kings this Christmas season, and as we think about the deep spiritual bond between cousins Jesus and John the Baptist, let us keep in mind, faith matters too.